And we're back, Centerville. Well, that was pretty cool, huh? Oh yeah, that was very cool. Very, very cool. I uh, want to thank Centerville again for watching the show, using the website, and all that great stuff. This is the show closed. Business in the spotlight this week. Uh, Pettit Plumbing and Heating. And uh, John Pettit, great guy, great crew there. And they're located uh, just off the square. 209 Van Buren. Uh, right here in Centerville, and you can give them a call. I have the number here, 641-856-3448. You've got that AC on the fritz or something this summer. You definitely want to get that hooked up. These guys are definitely the ones to do it. And the member in the spotlight, again, for the week has been Daniel Johnston. And uh, great kid, uh, recent CHS grad, does a lot of design work for the website. And uh, just a you know, great guy. And uh, really cool to, and uh, just great to have him. Um, as part of the project. And uh, we'll move on to the poem of the day, I guess. I'm going to do another poem today. What do you think, Jeff? Cool. Cool? Cool. Very cool. You know, I was going to start doing a, uh, reading poetry in the hot tub in the fall uh, for dosepoet.com and start a YouTube channel for that and do it every day, but I don't think Lindsay's going to go for that either, so you probably won't see the Dose Poet in the hot tub. So. <laughs> I might just keep it here at the end of the show. <laughs> okay, the poem of the day today is He. He I wrote uh, probably about five years ago. And uh, it's another uh, somewhat short piece, uh, four stanzas. And it came from uh, I, a relationship or whatever gone bad. I can't remember even who. Uh, there's been, you know, uh, I don't know. Sometimes it. Like when I wrote this, it was probably from a relationship maybe five years before. Like so it's not actually not what I write is what's going on with me at the time a lot. It has nothing to do with it. Um, so you, you can actually have a muse and not even write be writing for her. It's pretty cool. So I'm rambling on again, so we're gonna do it. He he loves her desperately as days pass to months. He is still alone in his miserable world, his miserable dreams, dreams of love that only survive in his writes her poetry as his heart bleeds wine for her. This is his life where emotion rises a little fall faster. Faster as she still does not see him frozen between sin and innocence. He slowly dies inside as his solo grows frozen cold. He is still influenced by her blindness to his obvious obsession. Obsession with death without her beside him now. He loves her desperately. He writes her poetry. He slowly dies inside. These things he cannot help. He writes her poetry. That's he. All right, Centerville, thank you very much for putting up with my poetry as well in the morning. And Jeff, thank you for being the most amazing co host in the world. And thank you for having me. Fantastic nephew and just, you know, part of the project. You're amazing. I love you, man. <laughs> and we love you, Centerville. See you Monday. Have a great weekend. Later.